Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, and ever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family Channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi. Congratulations to all of you that was waiting uh, last night for the spot ETF approval. It was approved for 11 companies, guys, but later more about that. Today, we are going to start, of course, with four amazing Bitcoin charts, a beautiful trading tip, some beautiful travel advice, of course, talking about some live advice, and yes, of course, also about that spot ETF news, guys. A beautiful video on a beautiful day. Sun is shining a little bit later than normally, guys, but we're going to have fun. Let's quickly jump into the charts to see what Bitcoin is going to do. Are we going to go now to that 48K, 50K because of all the bullish news? Let's see what the charts have to say. Bam. The first chart for today, guys, is that five-day Bitstamp chart over here, guys. This is the chart I've been using for the last couple of uh, years because Bitstamp has most of the information. And this is the Gaussian channel. So this is a five-day chart. Every candle is five days. And this Gaussian channel, I've been guiding you guys through from like the beginning of like this bull market already in 2017. Now, um, we can see that we broke out of this Gaussian channel. What does this now mean for Bitcoin and how high could it take us when we break out of this Gaussian channel? That's a very important question. If you look back now to the previous bull markets, guys, we can see that every time when we broke out of this Gaussian channel, that there was a massive run. That was the run of 2021. We can even see the run here of 2017. Every time we broke out, there was a massive run in Bitcoin. I've been telling you from the beginning that we broke out of this Gaussian channel. Yes, we could retest the top line and the midline, but when we bounce from that, that will be the start of that massive bull market. I have some more charts about this that will show you how high it could take us this time, guys. Let's quickly jump into some more interesting charts. This is that chart I was talking about. You can see what happened when we broke out of the Gaussian channel in 2012. We had a 12,650% run. What happened after the breakout in 2015 over there? We had a 5,178% run. What happened after the 2020 breakout? We had a 500% run. And what will happen now after the 2023 breakout? Will it be a 100% run to 100k? Or will it be a 200% run to 150k? It's all in the possibilities. It could even lead to a 500% run if a shitload of new liquidity because the spot ETS will be approved, which will bring Bitcoin around 200 to 250K, guys. So very interesting to see that that Gaussian channel is always playing out the same way. When we break out, there will be a massive run in Bitcoin. This chart I found on the Twitter of Crypto Crew University. Crypto Crew University, Steve, is a channel I recommend you all to follow as well. He's one of the best when it comes into zooming out into the charts. I found this chart on his Twitter. This chart is showing you the monthly candles. It's showing you we had four bullish monthly candles now. And we are running into the resistance of the Fibonacci level of 0.786. And that level is around 48,190. But that's a very important Fibonacci level. Are we going to break this Fibonacci level and start that massive bull run right away? Or are we going to find resistance at this level and pull back to that dotted line that you can see there first before we move on again to try and break that 48k level? That is the play that everyone is expecting now. Resistance falling back to those 30k plus levels and then again that new run to break that 50k and go into like 70k, 100k, 120k, 150k. Very interesting to see that on the monthly chart we're running into that resistance level of 0.786 guys. And the last thing that I want to share with you guys is that there is also of course an approval of the Ethereum spot ETF coming up uh, but that one will probably be in May this year guys so may 2024 will be the sec final deadline to also approve the ethereum spot etf which also could lead to more liquidity into ethereum and that will probably already lead now to the accumulate to the accumulation of ethereum because people are going to accumulate more and more ethereum because they think that, that spot ETF in May also will be approved, guys. And yes, that could lead also to that beautiful Ethereum pump. So also a very interesting play. That 
were all the charts for today. Let's jump into the next part. I hope you really enjoyed the charts, guys. Yes, and as always, always, I keep repeating it, repeating it, repeating. Oh, we have really big waves. Um, yes, you can zoom into the charts if you are a day trader and you want to make some profits here and there. But the most important thing that you need to understand in Bitcoin is that you also need to zoom out in the charts. Look at the bigger picture when it comes to Bitcoin. Bitcoin is a long-term play, guys, a very long-term play. You need to understand this very good because it's very important. Yes, I said good because I was like, oh shit, I stuck. Why did I get stuck here? You all know why I got stuck. But you need to understand the long-term play of Bitcoin, guys. This is now a big moment in Bitcoin's history that the spot ETF has been approved. The spot ETF of Bitcoin has been approved. This means a shitload of liquidity is about to flow into the market. How much liquidity, we don't know yet. But at the moment, the market cap of Bitcoin is already $912 billion. If there will be $100 billion extra because of the spot ETF, that's almost 10% up. So that could be a massive move for Bitcoin, guys. But a lot of people are talking about trillions of dollars ready to enter the market. Let's see. I don't know yet. I haven't seen numbers yet. So let's jump now into the trading tip. The trading tip for today, guys, um, is we have a Bitcoin family signals group. And in that signals group, last month, we made 6.5%. Last year, in total, we made a few hundred percent of profit. Now, at the moment, this month, January 2024, we are around 13% in profit. Those signals are only Bitcoin USDT, so we are only trading one pair. We are performing pretty well, if you ask me every month we are on profit and yes of course we also have some trades in loss but on average we are making a shit load of profit with our signals group you can enter that signals group for free you just need to sign up using the bybit link down below this video if you use the link down below this video to sign up to bybit guys you can then use the telegram bot to get free access to that bitcoin family signal group and yes you can start to trade how we trade and yes you start to make profits how we make profits really beautiful results at the moment really beautiful trades so make sure you get access to that group guys and for the rest guys my trading advice would be uh, when the market is really 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 volatile like it has been like for the last three days sometimes just chill let the market first decide which direction it will go before you start to trade because this volatility trading a lot of liquidations is for the shorts but also for the longs guys you have seen this in the last couple of days play out if the market is being manipulated by the news by the rumors by all that stuff you see too much volatility of course risky traders beautiful days to trade but if you are like a trader that wants to have stable profits mostly it's best to stay quiet on this market just exit the market and wait till the market calms down again to be tradable now that was the trading tip for today go to the bitcoinfamily.com search in the products menu and you will find how to get access to the bitcoin family vip members or the free signals the travel tip for today guys is always carry these ice or heat packs you know these packs that you can pull in the fridge to be frozen or that you can heat up in the microwave to become warm because if you're doing sports and everything during the travel, there will be that day that you have like this muscle pain or whatever. And then these ice packs come in really handy. Even sometimes, guys, when you have this headache, it's beautiful to have an ice pack. And sometimes when your neck is stiff from all the videoing, yes, it's also beautiful to have a hot pack. You put it in the microwave, you heat it up and you put it on your shoulders, guys. And yes, it will relieve of a lot of pain, guys. So always have this ice slash hot pack with you when you travel it's light it's small it fits in your luggage guys and it's always handy when you are in pain so that was the travel tip for the day let's jump into the next part the next part is answering one of the questions and the question of the follower was didi if all these spot etfs now are approved like blackrock and all the others and they are buying up a shit of the bitcoin is it then still wise for us to sell Bitcoins on the top of the bull market? Because will we be able to buy those Bitcoins back in the future in the bear market? That's a very valid question. I can't give you an answer because I don't have a glass ball, of course. But in my honest opinion, all those companies now that are buying Bitcoin up for the spot EDFs 
do this also to make profits. So they will make sure that they also will take profit when Bitcoin is at the top of a bull market. They don't want their people that are investing in their company spot ETFs to make losses. So yes, the volatility will become a little bit less, but there will still be the possibility to trade Bitcoin, of course. And when they are trading Bitcoin, there is always a market of selling and buying. So in my honest opinion, yes, they are going to put in a shitload of liquidity, but of course that liquidity is going to be traded because they also want to trade profits for their clients. So I am not afraid that we can't buy back those Bitcoins in the far future. But it is also because I have a very beautiful setup of my portfolio, guys. I hodl mostly 40% of my Bitcoins forever. So maybe 60% during this bull market top will be sold. But the other 40% will, will always be in my hardware storage, guys. I'm not trading that. And why am I not trading that? Because we can never predict when that moonshot will come. And when that moonshot will be there, that 40% will be in the market. I am not gonna sell all my Bitcoins because Bitcoin is my unit of account. This is my core currency. So yes, I will play around with a few of my Bitcoins and exchange them into stable coins at the top of the bull market, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, that game. But I do this to exchange them back again into Bitcoin after that, because Bitcoin is my core currency. So you should treat Bitcoin as your core currency as well. So the biggest part of your capital should be in your core currency. Just a small part of your capital should be in trading and multiplying your core currency. So I think people still need to understand this. I think people are still treating other currencies as their core currency, which means, yes, you're calculating the other way around. For me, it's very simple. Bitcoin is my core currency. Bitcoin is the one that I'm holding long term. So I'm never afraid of missing out of that next bull market. And I'm also not afraid that I'm not able to exchange that 30, 40, 50% maybe even um, into USDT because I do believe that I can buy those Bitcoins back at the bear market bottom. There is always a market. There is always demand and offer. There is always people afraid when Bitcoin crashes and are like, oh shit, I'm gonna sell now. I need to take my profits because else I don't have any profits left. And that is when we, at least all the people watching my videos will be there again to buy Bitcoin. Just like we bought Bitcoin around 16K and 17K and 18K. Everybody told you guys, oh, we will go to 12K. I was there to tell you, we will not go below 16K. We should be buying this bear market bottom. And we all bought that bear market bottom. And we are up now tremendously, almost 300% already. How beautiful is that? And that same game we are gonna play again in the next bull market. I'm gonna tell you exactly when I'm gonna exit this market, when I'm gonna take my profits with a part of my portfolio, I'm also exactly going to tell you when in 2026 7 I am going to buy back those Bitcoins at that bear market bottom again. Just play this game with me and you will be multiplying your capital in the upcoming years. That was the answer to the question. The news for today, guys, is of course that the spot ETF has been approved for 11 companies guys the list you can see now over here it's arc investment is blackrock fidelity franklin templeton all of those have their spot etf approved guys so this means that from now spot ETFs can be officially traded i believe they will all start to trade officially on the 11th and 11 is my lucky number so that's a beautiful moment for me in history 21 million bitcoins 11 is my lucky number the bitcoin spot etf will be approved on the 11th of january 2024 amazing times guys yes this means of course that there will be a shit of liquidity that is now parked aside flowing into bitcoin guys because a spot ETF means that these companies can offer their Bitcoin spot ETFs to their clients, guys. But it also means that they need to own those Bitcoins. So that means that the, all of these 11 companies need to start buying up Bitcoins more and more and more to be able to offer them to their clients. And that is going to increase every year because their clients will see their beautiful return on investment every time again and again. And they will be, okay, please, put a little bit more of our portfolio in Bitcoin, not only 5%. Please this year do 10%. Next year, hey, 15% or even 20% because Bitcoin is the best performing asset out there. And that could lead to trillions of dollars flowing into the market. And knowingly that Bitcoin has a $912 billion market cap, 
So if a couple of trillion will be added because of the spot ETS, then we are doubling, tripling, or maybe even quadrupling the market cap of Bitcoin. And by that also the Bitcoin price, because the amount of Bitcoins out there to be bought is still the same. And from April 2024, that amount that is coming new to the market daily will even decrease by 50% to 3.125 Bitcoins per block. So the demand is growing tremendously, but the offer, the daily offer of new Bitcoins being mined is decreasing tremendously, which will lead into a supply shock. And that supply shock will lead into a massive pump in the Bitcoin price. And that massive pump in the Bitcoin price is going to lead into breaking the previous all-time high this year. And that breaking of the previous all-time high this year will again lead into a new bull market all-time high in 2025. And I believe that it's going to be somewhere between 100k and 160k. And yes, I know there's a lot of people telling me 200k, 300k, 600k. Plan B is saying 512k. Yes, I hope we will see 512k. I hope we will see 200k. I hope we will see 300k, guys. But if I'm rational thinking, looking at the previous bull markets, there are also always new liquidity came into the market. I believe that we will end up somewhere between 100K and 160K. Let's break a beautiful number of 121,000 US dollar per Bitcoin. Something around that. So I will definitely be taking profits, guys, around those levels. But if you're watching this video and following this channel and subscribing right now, you will be there with me taking some profits at the right moment, guys. And always remember, profit is profit. There will always be another possibility for a new trade. Amazing news for the Bitcoin industry. As you all know, guys, I haven't been the biggest fan of a spot ETF because it is kind of killing the complete Bitcoin idea why Bitcoin exists. But it's a beautiful moment for all those people that want their bags pumped because yes, this is gonna pump the bags tremendously because a shitload of liquidity is gonna flow into the market. What it will do to the fundamentals of Bitcoin, like the possibility for poor people to transact in Bitcoin as well, we don't know. Maybe it is taking away a little bit of the freedom that we wanted Bitcoin to give to all those people, guys. But then again, there is also other currencies that those people can use. Maybe even Dogecoin or Litecoin or any other currency that doesn't have too much fees that you can use to transact to other people all over the world without being stopped. So we need to look and focus on decentralized currencies. And in my honest opinion, Bitcoin is the only real hardcore decentralized currency that is like completely unstoppable. So yes, I'm a little bit sad that now a shitload of these Bitcoins will flow into those companies in the last couple of years, made your lives kind of miserable as well. Because I do believe that those Black Rocks and all those huge companies are behind that whole fake flu show and all that things, the lockdowns and all that stuff that happened because they control the media, they control the pharmaceutical world, they control like essential everything in the world. And now they are also starting to control Bitcoin. So yes, very positive for your bags. They will be pumped. No, not positive for our freedom because a little bit of Bitcoin is now being bought by those people that are against us having full freedom guys and that's what i really believe and i know that many of you now will say ah you're a conspiracy theorist no i am not a conspiracy theorist guys i am just rational i'm seeing what happened in the last years i'm seeing where the money is i'm seeing who has control in this world and i'm seeing that those people now that had control in the world that manipulated the media that manipulated everyone around us is now taking also a little bit of control in bitcoin but again your bags will be pumped. Let's see how this will develop in the far future. And yes, of course, my bags will be pumped as well. So I'm happy with that, guys, but mixed feelings. Hope you understand what I'm saying. Um, let me know down below in the comments what your opinion is about it. Do you think it's a really good development that now BlackRock and all those others are getting access to more and more Bitcoins? Or do you think it's a bad development? It's kind of the story of life. Which one is gonna win? Greed or freedom? And I think, again, Greed is winning at this moment. Let me know down below what you think. Let's jump into the next part. And the last part of the video, guys, of course, always uh, the life advice. And today I'm gonna to talk about something that struck my mind when I was reading an article. Because each and every day in your life is a very important day. 
And why might you say? Because in one day, guys, you get born. In one day, you die. In one day, you fall in love. It all takes one day. You can even change in one day. Everything is possible in one day. And that is why every and each day of your life is an important day. Because it could be the day that you get born. It could also be the day that you die. It could also be the day that you change. It could also be the day that you will fall in love. Every and each and single day is unique. There is not one day the same as the day before. So do understand that every day is a new opportunity for you to change or to fall in love or to invest in Bitcoin or to take profits or to teach yourself something new or to educate your surroundings about something new. Every and each day is a unique day. That is very important for everyone to understand. So today again is a unique day. This day is your day in life that the Spot Bitcoin ETF was approved for 11 companies. Maybe this will also be the day for you that you do your first investment in Bitcoin. Or maybe this is the day, the first time in your life, that you say to your boss, fuck you, I'm going to leave this job and I'm going to travel. Every and each day could be your first day of something new. It could be a new adventure. It could be a start of a new life. So Drew realized that, that if you're stuck now in this circle of running the hamster or whatever it is, each and every day is a new opportunity for you to escape that life that you don't want to be living. Use those opportunities. And if you're not using it today, tomorrow is a new day. And the day after that will also be a new day. And all those days, you have the possibility to change that part of your life that you want to change. That was everything for today, guys, because else the video will become too long. I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy the charts, the news, everything else we talked about, please give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, leave me a comment. What do you think about the Spot ETF? What do you think about what I said about BlackRock? What do you think about everything else that we talked about? Thank you for watching. I wish you an amazing day and hopefully see you tomorrow again. Bam!